Well, hello, welcome, another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. I feel like I need to uh, already fix this. So, had some technical difficulties. We'll see, maybe that's a little bit better there. Okay, do we like it? Um, yeah, I tried to hit the go live button and it said I didn't have a good internet connection and I ran over to check my computer. Hi, Nikki, how are you? So, anyway, it's all good now. I don't know why it's futzy sometimes, but we're here. I am running around like a crazy fool. We're actually heading out to like drive to Florida. Hi, Philomena, how are you? Um, yeah, driving to Florida like right after Facebook Live. So I'm, you guys just could not even imagine what my house looks like right now because everything still needs to get like into bags and like packed up. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's, I don't, I'm like, I don't know why I do this to myself, but hi, Wendy, I know you had trouble. Well, I'm glad you did find me. I was um, a little bit late getting on too because I was having some technical difficulties. So yeah, we're gonna just like dive right in and get started. So um, last weekend we did the weekend retreat. Hi, Sharon. Um, down in Lansing and that was awesome. I just love that event so much. Hi Marianne. Yeah, I'm glad everybody can hop on. Everybody's finding. Hi Karen. So good. So good. Everybody's here. Um, yeah, so if you missed last weekend's weekend retreat in Lansing, mark your calendars for this November 1st through the 3rd is going to be our next um, our next weekend retreat. Who am I? I'm like, let's see. Hi Sandra. Hi Kim. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad everybody was able to find me. Um, I apologize, yeah, if you had any troubles, I don't know what's going on, maybe. Everybody's Facebook is a little funny right now. I don't know. Um, so anyway, the kind of funny thing, the hotel that we were staying at down in Lansing for the weekend retreat, um, the team that beat Elma to like, you know, basically kick them out of the playoffs, was staying at the hotel that we were doing the weekend retreat at, Ludington, they're from Ludington. Nice, wonderful people, you know, I'm a little like, eh, just cause they beat Alma, but you know, whatever. Um, anyway, so it's just kind of ironic that, hey, they were all there playing at the Breslin Center at uh, Michigan State, um, and they actually ended up losing their game Friday night, so they didn't get to play for in the final game, but they made it to the semifinals, so that was pretty awesome for them, so. Yeah, um, let's see. Oh, I wanna make sure to let everybody know um, one day retreat. So that's happening on, it's Saturday, April 20th. Um, the RSVPs are not technically due until Friday, April 5th, but if you send me your payment or email me with payment information by tomorrow, by Saturday, March 23rd, you're gonna get an extra free goodie in your goodie bag. So I just wanted to make sure everybody knows about that, that that's coming up. So again, the one day retreat on Saturday, April 20th. If you let me know, um, RSVP and prepay by tomorrow, um, just email me with info or call or text or whatever um, with payment info and we'll get you all set up for that. Cause I am like, since I did the weekend retreat, now I'm like all in retreat mode and super excited excited about the one day retreat coming up in April. Um, and then, oh, I have to show you guys. I'm gonna just do kind of a quick, I don't know. I have them all in this little, thanks for the share, Philomena. Um, I don't know, could you guys see these? I just put them in my little, oop, that didn't work at all, did it? Well, you know what? I'm just gonna have to show you guys. So these are the, um, oh boy, I just, um, I have like hair all over. <laughs> Sorry, I usually kind of check that. So anyway, I just want to give you kind of a little sneaky peeky of the cards that we are going to be making in the Happiness Blooms card class. Can you guys see? So I threw in, I've got 10 full-size cards and then a couple of the little, like, little note cards. Anyway, they're super cute and fun. I am loving all of these cards. Here are a couple more. Um, they're probably, like, all over the place, but they're using, those are the Night of Navy, the Happiness Blooms um, note cards and envelopes. So here are the really awesome envelopes, the blue, like, the navy and white stripe envelopes that coordinate with the cards. So we started with the Memories and More card pack, the Happiness Blooms Memories and More card pack, added the cards from the card pack to the um, card bases, and then just add a little bit of fun. There are actually a bunch of um, embellishments and stickers and things right in the card kit. So super cute, fun. Um, we also use some of the Happiness Blooms enamel dots. You'll get those with your class. So I know I mentioned it last week and I hadn't actually had all the cards designed. So I do now and I wanted to show you guys those real quick. Um, let's see, where is that info though? Let me make sure 
but I give you guys the good info. So the Happiness Blooms class, and I did update um, my email. So the next email that goes out um, has PayPal um, links right in there. So if you want to order the class, it is $27. Um, let's see, if you want it to go, it's just another $8 shipping fee. And that class is happening on Saturday, April 20th in conjunction with the one day retreat. Okay, I need RSVPs and payment for that class by Monday, April 8th. I'm glad you guys like those. I love them too. Those card kits are like the fastest, simplest, easiest way to make cards ever, I think. Uh, you know, because all the, it's like beautiful designer series paper all cut and ready to just like pop on the card bases. So fun, simple, cute, and actually you'll have, you get double of all of that. So most, most of them you get double. Some of them I realized are um, a little bit more embossy kind of, um, so they're not a front and back. Um, but most of them you could make like duplicates of them too, because you have enough cards to be able, uh, I think, to do that. Anyway, it's, it's awesome. You'll love that class. So, and then also, I know I mentioned that retreat in a box too. So if you can't make it to the retreat on April 20th, I've got the retreat in a box offer as well. You can even get that Happiness Blooms class included and then you don't have to pay the shipping on the Happiness Blooms class because you're already paying the shipping on the retreat in a box. Um, so all that info is on my blog too. Um, if you just go to gatheringinspiration.com and then click on um, the events tab, you can get more info on any of these things that we have going on. Um, and then links are all there too. So, um, and if you're on my email list, then you get the email about it with all, which also have the links. So, but let me know if you have any questions on either of those, because those are a couple of great kind of different um, opportunities that I have coming up in April after we're back from spring break. So, um, let's see, what else do I want to tell you guys about? Oh, I think we can go ahead and we're gonna do our drawing for, this is that flirty flamingo, that kind of soft wispy ribbon that is part of the All My Love ribbon combo pack. Um, names went in the drawing. As always, you get one entry in the drawing if you comment today. You get three entries if you share the Facebook Live video. And the comments and shares, actually all of this, it's on the group, on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio group, and then also on the business page. So if you're over there on the business page, um, comment and share there too, and your name goes in here as well. And then my random day was Thursday, so any post that I did actually just yesterday, if you commented or shared, or posted your own project, you got another three entries in the drawing. And then if anybody's new and just signed up for my email list, your name is in here too. So let's see, we are gonna draw the name. It's funny, I um, the sun keeps kind of peeking out, although I'm not complaining because it's a little bit overcast, but you know, then there's no glare, which <laughs> I like not having to drag my table all over the place. Okay, here we go. Let's see, make sure I have one. One. Oh my goodness, Mary Ann, you are the lucky, lucky gal. I feel like, did you, you win, you won recently, I think. I don't know. Anyway, you do lots of good participating, commenting and sharing, and I love that so much. So thank you. So Mary Ann, I will get the ribbon sent out to you. Um, yeah, okay, let me move this out of the way so that I don't lose it. Not that I would lose it, like seriously. Okay. <clears throat> I gotta get those names out of there so I can get ready for the other drawing. Okay, so um, I think I've mentioned I'm going on spring break next week. Um, well, starting today and then through all of next week. So we won't be having a Facebook Live next Friday, the last Friday of the month in March. Um, I think it's the 29th. We'll have Facebook Live the next time will be on Friday, April 5th. So that's when we are gonna do the drawing for the rhinestones, like the oldie but goodie. It's funny because people, I think, have kind of forgotten. You're welcome, Marianne. Um, people have kind of maybe forgotten about the rhinestones a little bit because um, we have so many other fun embellishments in the occasions catalog. But I thought I gotta bring awareness back to the rhinestones. So comments and shares, get your name in the drawing um, on the Facebook group and the business page. Again, I've got a bunch of posts scheduled all week um, long while I'm gone. So if you comment or share on those posts, um, your name goes in the drawing again for the random day that I pick. And if you're new to the email list, um, sign up, you get another three, three entries. So we'll be drawing for that, like I said, in two weeks on Friday, April 5th. And let's see, um, yeah, Karen says, Marianne, you are one lucky lady. That's two for this week. Yeah, probably last week. I'm, that's what, I don't know. I'm so brain dead, ladies. I stayed up super late last night trying to get everything done and then had to get up and um, early and finish packing. So. 
I don't know. Anyway, I, I, lots of names go in there and you just never know. The more you comment and share, the better your chances, right? So, um, let's see. Uh, I know what else I wanna just remind you guys um, because I'm not gonna be here to do the final reminder, but the Happiness Blooms class to go where you're gonna make two of each these pro each of these projects right this happiness blooms class to go is still available the details are again at gatheringinspiration.com there's the um the, yeah, Marianne you got it two weeks ago for an order that's right yes because you do a, such a nice job I appreciate your support too with your orders for uh, support of my Stampin' Up! business as well um, so okay so back to these cards they um, are still available if you're interested the incredible like you because I don't know what did I just call this this is the incredible like you class to go if I called it anything else that's what you'll look for on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com all the links are there or the email um, has the PayPal links too so I'm not gonna go into all the details but basically these this is probably my most favorite because I love can you guys see there we go oh there it is all the little detail with the flowers uh, I just I love this stamp set and I've used it a few times for sure <laughs> so okay all right let's see um, what else do I want to tell you guys about let's see let's see oh I know we are gonna do the drawing so anybody that put an online order in last week of at least $30 using the host code they're gonna get the projects that I demonstrated last week and their name went in the drawing and what is the drawing for it is the all adorned stamp set oh my goodness this has been such a pretty one did I bring it I don't know if I brought my card I think I showed you guys last week but the card that I made I didn't bring it over this time um, but lots of really good ideas on um, the stamp set for this and yes Karen you are asking yes you as my downline you can still get the PDF for that incredible like you class to go at any time honestly for any of my class to goes whenever you email me I can send that out to you okay um, yeah although I'm thinking spring break it's gonna be a little more difficult <laughs> I think I'm bringing my computer I don't know so yeah email me and I can get that sent to you okay um, all right so but today we are gonna draw for the all adorn stamp set if you put the online order in last week so I have a couple names in the drawing and let's see who are we gonna pick this week okay all right I got one name oh my goodness so it's miss Rosemarie it's kind of like the time for there we go miss Rosemarie Mason um, she actually put a, an order in last week and won, and then this past week and won again. So congratulations, Miss Rosemary. I, again, appreciate your um, business. Um, so thank you, and I will get that sent out to you as well. Okay. Um, let's see. So can you guys tell? I have, like, so much I want to tell you guys about, but i got to try to stay on track here, too, um, so that I, <laughs> so I can finish my packing. Um, oh, okay, so now this is like the most, this is the most awesome thing I have to tell you guys about. Okay, so I'm doing something, because I'm gonna be gone, I was like, oh, I can't just give away one thing over the next two weeks. So I'm doing a spring break special. Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna give you the host code. It's always on my blog, at gatheringinspiration.com, but we'll, I'll show you that in just a little bit. If you order online and use the host code, you need to spend at least $50 with me, and why wouldn't you? Because I know you all wanna get that one last free celebration item, right? But you are gonna also, in addition to the free celebration item from Stampin' Up!, you are gonna get 10 free handmade cards from me, you are gonna get a free embellishment, and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win one of three awesome prizes. I've been holding on to these things and like super excited to show you guys. So, okay, let me get them organized here. So we have, and this is how it's gonna work. So however many online orders I have, all those names are gonna go in my little paper pumpkin bag, right? Hi Rosa, or um, trash bin, whatever it is. Shake them around. The first name that I, I draw gets first pick out of these three items. And then the second name gets to pick from the last two. And then the third name will get the remaining item. They're all awesome. You guys are gonna love these things. So this first one is a bundle. This is the Dear Doily stamp set. 
So if you guys can see that, I actually uploaded a video. I think, did I show you guys that? I don't know. I'll show you the picture or the card in a sec. So the Dear Doily stamp set and then the Doily thinlets that go with this. And guys, the Doily Builder thinlets are actually already all gone. Um, they sold out. I guess maybe there was a problem with the manufacturer. So they sold what we had. And then by the time they would get the problem fixed with the manufacturer, the selling period for these um, was going to be already up because these are retiring, actually. So this we already know that. Well, I think. I don't know. I know for sure the doilies are retiring. And they said basically we're not going to be able to get them in time to fulfill orders by the end of May 31st. So these are already gone. So the only way you can get them is if you put an online order in and then your name is drawn. You can get the Dear Doily stamp set and the Doily Builder Thinlets, right? And here is the card. Hey, Tammy, I'm glad you were able, I'm glad you were able to get on. I know some days Facebook is funny. Okay, so here is, this is a card that I made and I uploaded the video to YouTube so you can see, um, kind of, you know, get the details on exactly how to make it. But can you see the beautiful detail in the doilies right there? I wonder, do I even have, I have the catalog. So, cause I'm like, I don't know if I should open them. Um, I mean, I could, but um, I think I can show you guys. So there's the stamp set that says we've got words can't express and then they've got just how much you mean to me, how much your kindness touches my life and how very sorry I am for your loss. And then there's also a just for you and an enjoy and then all the beautiful doilies. And then these things are what, are can, what can be cut out with the doily thinlets. And I even put an X over them so I would remember. But can you guys see? So lots of beautiful detail. And then actually, maybe I'll move over here so you guys can see. Like I love even that flower so pretty. And look at how the stamping they did there. And then you guys can really see the detail on that, on both of those with the doily. So anyway, let's see. Um, yes, Kim, I remember that you got those. Yeah, you were one of the first ones, I think. And then I was like, hey, that is a really pretty stamp set. So it happens to us all, right? If somebody um, plays with something and uses it, then you're like, hey, I think I need that too. Um, so yeah, okay, so that's one of the things that you could pick if your name is drawn. Next, and this is another, I think, pretty hot item, ladies, because the this is the Lasting Lily stamp set. So the, the big celebration stamp set and then the Coordinating Lily framelits that unfortunately have also sold out. These are one of the coordination products. So if you didn't get the stamp set and framelits, now's the time, right? You put just a $50 online order in and you can get a, this free um, Lasting Lily stamp set and then the Lily framelits. Okay, so that's the second choice. And these were a couple of cards I know I demonstrated very recently. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Um, this one, um, you guys may remember I demonstrated just a couple weeks ago on Facebook Live. And then this was a card that we made quite a while ago in my Simple Beautiful card class. Love that one too. So there's kind of a good example of just the stamping and then with the die cutting also. Okay, and then the third um, choice will be two awesome embossing folders. So we have the Country Floral, if you guys don't have this yet, there are so many amazing ideas out there. You're gonna to want to get that embossing folder. And then I have just started playing. This is the Lace Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. So you can get the combination of these two embossing folders. So, oh my goodness. So those are the things, right? We're gonna give away the embossing folders, the Lily Stamp Set and Framelits, and then the Doily um, framelits and thinlets and stamp set. Okay, so those three choices, put your online order in anytime between now, and I'm actually gonna keep it going till Wednesday, April 3rd. You might see communication that says March 31st, basically, because I want you to get your free celebration choice too, and if you put it in, in in April, you won't get that free celebration choice. So put your online order in anytime between now and Wednesday, April 3rd. Your name's gonna go in the drawing. You're gonna get to pick. Like I said, you can pick. If your name is drawn first, you tell me I want whichever one you want, and then the next person will get the next choices, and the last person will get the one that's left, okay? So I think that's pretty awesome. And I do, okay, I have to tell you guys, 
Um, celebration, I am a little bit short, well, more than a little bit actually, on my sales goal for celebration, which I was kind of surprised about because usually celebration is such a good time of year. So I'm kind of putting this little plea out there. If you enjoy the Facebook Live videos, if you've ever thought about ordering and just haven't done it, now's the time. I would really, really, really appreciate your business. Um, that's, I just, I love um, doing all this for everybody, um, but I would love to maybe get a couple orders as well too, because um, I, I just, I really want to meet that sales goal. And I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, here I am going on vacation and I haven't even gotten to where I wanted to be. So kind of in a little bit of a panic about that. So if you have any inclination, if you ever thought about putting an order in, go ahead and do that because you get all kinds of, you get the 10 free handmade cards from me, you get the free embellishment, you get the free celebration choice, and then your name goes in the drawing to win one of these awesome prizes too. So thank you guys. I appreciate your support too. Um, okay. Oh, I forgot to show those embossing folders, but you guys saw this is the country floral. That was the card we just I gotta get that in there. There, you guys can see all the beautiful detail, right? That was the card we just did last week with that embossing folder. So, okie dokie, I think, where are we at? Um, couple of quick reminders. Tammy, yes, I did, thank you. Your name was in there also, um, but it just didn't get drawn this time, so I'm sorry about that. But yes, thank you so much. I really, 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 I. it's funny how excited I get when I see the little email from Stampin' Up that says, you have an online order, so thank you guys. I just, I love, I, I just appreciate so much all of your support of my business, so thank you. And I'm glad those, I'm a, uh, yes, they are all awesome prizes, aren't they, Philomena? So, um, Oh, okay, quick reminders. Um, just want to make sure everybody knows if you are thinking about joining a club, the club member drive does end at the end of March. So that's next Sunday, March 31st. If you're interested in long distance club options, there's the card club to go where you get the projects that we make in our simple, beautiful card class each month. Um, just put an online order in using a host code. I send you the projects. One month you get host benefits. I always send you cute treats um, as like club member treats. Um, what else? I feel like there's more. Um, I don't know. Brain is fried. But all the info is on my blog too. So there's that or there's the class to go club like the um, incredible like you class. If you sign up for those classes each month in the club option, then you get all the host benefits one month. Again, you get the cute treats from me and it's awesome. Then you just get to stamp every single month, right? So those are kind of long distance club options. Then locally we have the simple, beautiful card club and the scrapbook club. And again, all the details from all of those clubs are on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Oh, that's the whole point. Yeah. Club member drive. If you say you are going to join one of these clubs by March 31st, you get another free celebration choice. So it's an awesome deal. And Stampin' Up! added some new stuff too. I showed you guys all those last week. So if you're interested um, in getting any of those additional items for free during celebration, now's the time to do it, right? Um, join a club and you can get a free celebration choice. So just email me um, if you're interested in joining a club. Or you can put a comment right on here too. I find things all over the place. Um, oh, and then celebration, celebration. That's the other fun event that I do is kind of a thank you for all of your support of my Stampin' Up! business. Either you can, these are how you can, these are the ways you can earn your spot into the celebration, celebration. If you spend at least $150 with me between now and March 31st, if you buy the starter kit and you still have time to get that awesome deal, right? The starter kit deal, pick $175 in product, pay only $99 plus sales tax, Plus you get a free paper pumpkin kit, you get a bunch of catalogs and business supplies in case you want to get orders from people, and then you get 20% off of your, all your orders after that, right? Um, and then the third way, which it's kind of too late for that one, but if you held a private party or class and had sales at that party of at least $250, um, we could probably figure out something to do like an online party if you're still thinking you want to um, go that option. So. All those are still available. If you meet any of those, if you earn your way in, then you get to come to the Celebration Celebration event. Um, I'm still working on the date because I'm still waiting. Um, my son Cade has started a travel basketball program and I'm trying to, trying to not miss anything, so I'm trying to figure out 
when his weekend tournaments are going to be and then get it scheduled in between those. So it's either the end of April or beginning of May that, that the event will be. And if you can't make it to the event, I'm going to send you everything that you would get if you came to the live event. I'll send that all to you. So um, again, details on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com on the celebration celebration event. Okay, I think, I know I've talked, I feel like I have talked a mile a minute because, oh my gosh, we're, we're leaving, ladies. I, I gotta be ready. And you know, my family's like, come on, mom, can we leave earlier? My sister actually left like an hour ago. So everyone's all stressed out that we're not on the road yet. But that's all right. We'll get there. We'll get there. There's, you know, whatever. They'll, they're gonna run into lots of traffic. And by the time we get there, all that traffic's gonna clear, right? <laughs> I shouldn't say that. That's not very nice. I don't want either one of us to run into traffic, really, right? But okay. I'm looking around like, have I really shown everything? I think I have. Um, I know I had one. Let me see if I have one. Um, Lil Meyer, who watches on the YouTube channel. Lil, I know you had asked me. I think I kind of flipped. You wanted to see my um, personalized stamp. So I don't know if I'm getting, I'm going to show. I know it's backwards. Uh, when I flip the camera around, I'll show you too. Um, she was curious to know what I stamp on the back of all my cards. So this is my personalized stamp. And in reading it backwards, it says hand stamped by Amy Ferlici. And then there's a little copyright stampin' up with a really pretty flourish below it. So Lil, I have to tell you, this is a stamp that um, stampin' up, we used to kind of make some personalized stamps so that you know you could add your name right in there instead of my name, obviously. Um, but we don't sell those any longer. So this is one that I've had for a super long time and now I, I'm, I've kind of like scrubbed it away a little bit as I've cleaned it. So I'm trying to be really careful um, to keep it intact but that is the stamp that I use um, for my um, you know on the back of all my cards so that I can sell them too so because you guys know that if you're a demonstrator and you want to sell um, any of your finished products you need to have that little C the copyright stampin up um, logo somewhere on your project um, that's kind of a compliance thing, I guess, um, with Stampin' Up to make sure you have that on there because this is this is all copyrighted material from Stampin' Up. So, Rosemary, hello, how are you? I hope you're having a good Friday. So, okay, um, I know I keep looking around, but I think I think I've shown it all, right? Okay, are you guys ready to do some stamping? I have some more awesome stuff to show you guys. Okay, let me grab. I got to get the grid paper. Make sure we're all set. Oh, now the sun's peeking out. We're going to have funny shadows. We'll see how it is. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. I'm going to flip this camera. And we will get to make some cute projects now. Okay. Oops, that's a little bit crooked. All right, let's get things into view. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, here, I'm gonna remind you. So this kind of doesn't totally apply. What you need to remember is this host code, the BM9KZG2E. Use that host code. You're gonna get the 10 free handmade cards. You're gonna get the free embellishment. You're gonna get the free celebration item with your $50 choice. And then your name goes in the drawing to win one of those awesome prizes. I'll show you guys those at the end. Um, but here, so Lil, I know you wanted to see. I'm gonna show you this because I think we'll be able to see a little bit better. But that is the stamp that I use. Um, you know, I have heard that you could go, um, I'm trying to think um, if you, there are even stamp manufacturers, like we actually have one um, just up the road from me in Mount Pleasant, where you can get personalized stamps made. So you might even want to just Google that. Um, I would think you could kind of get a picture of something that you're wanting to do, and they might even be able to, you know, put that together for you digitally, digitally, so that um, they could make a, a stamp for you. But that's the one I use. Okay, so which one do I want to show you guys first? I always get so excited about this. Um, okay, let's do. We're gonna. I'm gonna show you this one. Okay. Ha ha ha. So you guys, this 
is the delightfully detailed laser cut paper. And then I love, this is one of those stitched label framelits that I have, I'm using these all the time now because I cannot get enough of those stitched label framelits too. So I have to show you though, because this is one of those items the delightfully detailed laser cut paper. This is one of the items that's in the annual catalog, but you can also get it for free during celebration with your $50 order. So, okay. Um, I was kind of trying to figure out how to show you guys, because I think I kind of showed you last week. This is a little bit. So it is very delicate and detailed, but let me try to show you. Actually, here, let me scoot this out of the way. So this was... Hold on. All right, we're moving everything for now so you guys can really see. I just wanna, cause you, you have to be careful with this paper, right? But this is kind of the idea. Or maybe it went like that. I think there were, yeah, and then there were maybe a couple more over here and then this thing went down along the bottom like, like this. So I cut out and used a couple because this is one of them that maybe was right about there. There's another one that I'm gonna use on the card that I'm gonna show you in a sec. but. And then there are these that you could actually that goes down right there doesn't it because I see how those little guys fit in there right so you just cut these things so you've got this beautiful frame Marianne I figured out this is what you used on those doilies I was trying to understand where your card came that you posted and then I realized huh there it is right there they've got some really pretty borders along here too Oops, can you guys, I should move that up a little bit more, right? And then this is like a little fence post or something, I think. Whenever I look at this, I kind of think it, um, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? So you might just kind of peel that piece back and then you could put that on here. What if we put it on the back of, right? You could kind of run that along your card base. Isn't that so pretty? So lots of really kind of interesting, different things that you could do. The other thing I want to show you guys is if you can see, so one side is kind of a bright whisper white, and then the other side is a little bit more of like an antiqued vanilla. So whichever side you wanna use. You get three sheets of this, and then this is the other one that I showed you, and this has the vellum, or kind of tissue paper behind it. Um, but this is the other, the floral one. And I've seen really pretty things done where maybe you kind of snip along the edges here and just kind of put like that corner piece on your card. Lots and lots of really, and it doesn't take much. If you guys can see, I mean, all the detail that's on this card, it all comes from that one little layer. And then a cute little label framelit there too. And it is stunning, isn't it, Marianne? So, okay, I'm gonna show you. Oh, the other thing that you guys might wanna know about is that they have these cards that are supposed to coordinate. Of course, I had hoped maybe I would get a chance to do that, use them, but I didn't. But these are the delightfully detailed note cards and envelopes. So these are just some kind of basic vanilla envelopes. But then, look at, these are all really pretty like watercolor wash. Let's see, I'm gonna make, I'm looking at them and then I'm not checking to see if they're in the view. So we've got those, and then this is another, oh, this darn sun. Okay, I gotta move it. Let's see if we go. There, that'll be better for a few minutes, right? There, okay. So, yeah, isn't that pretty? That little watercolor wash. And then, so that kind of looks like mint macaron to me. And then here's some more. Um, and then these are wash also. So what they're, what they're suggesting is, and this would be cut a little bit better than I have it right now, but you could do something like this. You could layer that right over top of it and they've, they've sized them so they fit perfectly on here too. Um, so then the kind of the watercolor wash peeks out behind there. So these are just some really cute note cards. You could do lots and lots of things with these note cards, but they were intended to work with these, I don't think the white works quite as well. I think you'd want to use the vanilla on those. Um, but yeah, I just had to show you guys those because these have been in my stash, I'm gonna tell you what, for quite a long time. And they got buried back behind some things and I forgot about them. So those will be coming out. I'll be playing with those before you know it. So, okay, let's get to making this card. Sorry, bear with me, you guys. I know I'm like crazy today. Maybe I should just stop saying that though because maybe you guys don't realize I'm as crazy as I really am. <laughs> I'm like letting out all my secrets, right? Okay, we're gonna put that card right there. And let's see, let me get my things here. And I love just the simple 
crisp. This is the blueberry bushel, is our, um, <clears throat> the other color of choice. So whisper white and blueberry bushel, it's all we needed. And let's see, Marianne, I see a question. I've been wondering if this paper is difficult to work with. Uh, yeah, and you, okay, so yeah, you used it in the class. I know, I think that's why I hesitated on pulling it out because I was afraid I was going to ruin it. But it's actually sturdier than you would think. And, you know, you do have to be a little bit careful with it, but I think it's worth it. Um, so this is the other one. We're going to use this layer on here today. So, okay, so let me give you measurements. This is our thick Whisper White cardstock, okay? That measures our 8.5 by 11 cardstock. So this time we made a tall card by cutting the 8.5 inch side in half at 4 and a quarter inches. And then we scored it along the 11 inch side at 5 and a half inches, okay? And then we have our piece of, oops, what is that? Oh, that's what I'm going to stamp on. <laughs> this is blueberry bushel cardstock that measures three and three quarters by five inches. No, actually it doesn't. I'm sorry, I'm off a little bit. It's three and five eighths by five and one eighth because I wanted just a teeny tiny little border around here because this piece measures three and a half by five inches, the detail does, okay? So let's see, I'm gonna actually put this on, I know I have my little, one of my silicone mats. So I think there are probably lots of different ways. I tend to try to find the easiest, simplest way. So I like to, this is the vanilla side that I'm gonna put the adhesive on. I've got my silicone mat here and I'm gonna just put a little bit of adhesive and you do have to be careful I'm gonna go along all of my edges, because that's the main thing. Um, just adding a little bit of adhesive. And it is delicate, so you're gonna wanna be careful. I didn't even really do anything on the inside there, um, because it lays down pretty nicely, and then that big label that we're gonna put on, I think helps to um, kind of keep it in place. Now you do have to be a little bit careful it just is, it's, it is delicate. So we just, oops. <laughs> and then it's stuck to my finger there. Okay. And the other thing that I kind of like to do is flip it over and then you can rub really firmly. Sorry if that's wiggling. And then actually we're all set to put some more adhesive. So we're going to use a really good amount of adhesive on this part here. Okay. There we go. And we can add that right to our card base. Okay, so we're gonna put this right on here. And isn't it's like so, and Karen, I know you made a card like this and showed us the other day and it kind of made me realize, hey, that paper is um, like, you gotta get that out and play with it because I think it's gonna retire. Um, so you guys know that too, the retiring lists are gonna come out um, in April. So in probably just a couple weeks, we're gonna get those retiring lists. Hi Susie, how are you today? Okay, so I have my blueberry bushel ink. Oh, and this stamp is from, that Just For You stamp right there is from the Meant To Be stamp set. So I love to show how, you know, at first look you think, oh, this is all Valentine-y, but it doesn't have to be like that Just For You. Um, I love our life together. You make me happy to the best friend a girl could ever ask for. Um, oh, Sharon, you're getting the paper. That's awesome. So I think this is great. You could use those hearts for lots of things too. So not just Valentine's Day, even though that's maybe your first thought when you look at that stamp set. Okay, so the Just For You, nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're gonna press straight down. I push on here a little bit, but I'm not wiggling or rocking at all. And beautiful, right? Okay, so we're gonna get our ink out of the way. Our stamp. Okay, now I need my big shot. And we are gonna die cut this baby with the lace, no, the stitched label frame. Let's say it looks like, it looks kind of lacy. So what made me think of that, I guess. Okay, so the stitched label framelits, I've used these, I love, I've used that little guy. There are so many good labels that have all the stitching. We are gonna use this beauty right here. You can see all of the detail. Okay, so we're gonna lay that right down in there. Going to pop that on. So we've got our magnetic platform, one clear cutting pad, our paper, our framelit, and then another clear cutting pad on top. I'm glad you're doing well, Susie. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what we've got here. 
Uh, you know what? Just for kicks, because I really want to make this wiggle somewhere, I'm going to run it back through. Sorry. I'm trying to do that left-handed. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. <laughs> okay. All right. There. Because I want to make sure this pops out pretty well. It is. There we go. I thought it was kind of stuck in there. So if you can see, um, where are my little paper? My, I forgot my paper piercing tool, but we've got to get, in the beginning, I thought those little guys were supposed to come out too, but no, some of them are just stitched and some of them really are supposed to come out. So those kind of in the corner are supposed to come out there too. So we'll get those guys out of there. Get that one little baby off there. Okay. So that is good there. Let me just get this stuff out of our way. Okay, we don't need that. Actually, we don't need the big shot any longer. Not right now, anyway. Okay, now, so you guys can see how simple and easy this card is, too. And as life gets crazier and crazier, that seems to be the name of the game. So we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals on the back of that. Peel these babies off, right? Look at, isn't that so, I love all of the stitching and the detail, right? And I thought it, it looked really, it coordinated very nicely. And you can see now how just even putting this on is gonna help kind of keep the rest of that detailed laser cut paper on there nicely. Then my last step, and I forgot my little take your pick tool, so we are gonna try with my paper snips, we're gonna add a couple of the rhinestones. We're going to put maybe one there, and and then these are the um, item that you can get for free that I'm going to give away on the next Facebook Live, these rhinestones, um, if you comment or share or sign up for my Facebook, or um, sign up for my email list. So, okay, so see how simple that card was, but just stunning and beautiful, right? Love, and everyone's going to be a little bit different. You do get three sheets of you know with all of this detail so you could make three of this card and three of this card and three of the other ones lots of fun you can have with this so i just love this and then you can get it for free right during celebration also okay so i'm going to sneak this stuff out of the way and show you the next project okay all right let's see so you guys this next one i had not really played with my lace embossing folder very much. And I knew, I was like, we've got to break that thing out. I know I like those a lot too. Thanks, ladies. Um, okay, so can you see, I use the lace embossing folder just on that little strip right there. Isn't that, oh my gosh, so much detail on that too. You can kind of get a lot of different looks with it too, depending on where you put that little two inch strip in your embossing folder, right? Okay, so let me kind of get my things out here. Sorry, we've got to get that thing there. Um, need my cardstock. This one uses, oh, the vase. Um, this is the Vibrant Vases. I was afraid I was going to give it the wrong name, but that's the Vibrant Vases stamp set that we are using on this card. And, okay, I got a couple ink pads. All right. Here we go. And I actually, I should back up and say, I cased this card because I was running out of time and like kind of ideas. So this is a beautiful card, a swap card that I received from Dina Rico. So you can see she used the same embossing folder and then she had a different stamp set. This is, says Happy Mother's Day on it. And this one actually came from, I think it's called the Strong and Beautiful stamp set that is in the um, Occasions catalog, which when I read those sentiments, I just have to show you guys. I now need that stamp set. And I have a little note that said what page to find it on. Oh, here we go, on page 48 of the Occasions catalog. You guys have to check these out. Um, Oh, let's see. Okay, I've got a few comments here that I missed, right? Sharon, did you use those rhinestones? <laughs> you know what? I did think of you because they're, they kind of hide in that catalog. So I'm glad you found them and that you're able, um, that you're going to be able to use them when you get your next order, right? And then let's see what Marianne is saying. It's best in a strip. Yeah, I really like that too. It just kind of adds a little bit of detail without being too overwhelming, I guess. 
But okay, so back to this stamp set. So she used that Happy Mother's Day right there. This is one of those sets, like a lot of times the words I kind of skip right over. But if you read the words, the sentiments in this stamp set, basically I was almost in tears by the time I finished reading all of the sentiments on the stamp set and it's now on my list to order. <laughs> so I have to share these with you guys too. So in case you've missed them also. So the first one is you have what it takes to be unstoppable and I couldn't be more proud. Keep reaching for your dreams. I will keep cheering you on. I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you. Thank you for always being there for me. You are like a di diamond, resilient, strong, and beautiful. Then there's the happy Mother's Day. God made, my, made you my mother. Love made you my friend. That's awesome. You are loved completely. You have truly been a shining example to me. To the woman who taught me what it means to be brave and to the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom, you're amazing and that's a fact. <laughs> yes, they are very heartwarming. That is so true, Philomena. So like I said, this is on my list. Hopefully even, I, I might have ordered it last night. It was a really late last night when I put an order in. So, <laughs> oh, and you know what? Actually, oh, this is so cool. I didn't even really plan this, ladies, but I'm gonna have to zoom right in. Can you see? This card also used more of that delightfully detailed laser cut specialty paper they're referring to it so you can see it a little bit better um, how I was talking about there is one big sheet that you can kind of cut up and then the other ones that fit perfectly on the cardstock and then with some other strips there too that you can use so beautiful paper wonderful stamp set just had to make sure in case you guys missed that one okay so we are using this is calypso coral cardstock and let's see so as always do I have enough room here? We've got our, all right, I gotta move these out of the way. Too much stuff on the table. Eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Cut this one in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, you score it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, oops. Then we have just that little strip of Calypso Coral cardstock that measures two inches by four and a quarter inches and then a very small strip of very vanilla cardstock that measures a half an inch by three and three quarter inches. And all of these measurements and all of the item codes, everything that we're using on these projects is gonna be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com later on this afternoon, okay? Um, what else do I need to tell you guys about? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, Karen says she's going to use her large sheet as an overlay on scrapbook wedding pages. Yeah, that would be beautiful. What a great idea. Um, while I'm looking at it, I need to show you guys the stamps that we used too. So the other day, I think I used just that thanks for understanding. And it kind of got me like, hey, we need to use this stamp set. So this is the Vibrant Bases stamp set that has all the beautiful detail. And then you can kind of watercolor wash right in to add some detail. So that's kind of what we did. We used a couple of different stamps and I'll show you guys these as we're doing our stamping. That, <laughs> now the glare from the light is right there, perfect. And then I actually, because I didn't have the Strong and Beautiful stamp set, I ended up using this You've Been On My Mind from the Butterfly Gala stamp set. And then we've got, they've got some other beautiful butterflies and sentiments on this stamp set as well. Okay. So let's see, we are gonna, what are we gonna do first? Let's do, let's do our embossing. No, we gotta do some stamping, I think, don't we? Here I am, back and forth and back and forth. Nope, we're gonna do, we're gonna emboss this and we're actually gonna cut our stitched oval out and then we're gonna stamp on it because I wanna make sure I get that in the right place. Okay, so let me grab the big shot. We will do those things. Okay. So first, we are going to do our die cutting. Some fleck of something on there. Okay. So this is the largest oval from the stitched oval framelits. So I'm just going to put that right on there. And I'm going to make my cut here. Okay. <clears throat> then I need my other, just my regular big shot platform, not the magnetic platform. Okay, so we're just gonna pop. That baby comes out right there like that, right? 
Then I want to do my embossing. Where's my embossing folder? <laughs> okay, so this is what I was saying. If you can see all of that. So you could use this detail. I thought it was really pretty to kind of use the in-between detail, I kind of call it there. So we are just going to put this right in here. And I did want to kind of line it up so it seems like it's even, you know, the same amount of detail kind of on either side. So I'm just going to put that right in there like that. I'm going to lay that down. And we only need one clear pad on top because this is one of the thick dynamic embossing filters. Okay. So check this out. Voila! And I think that might be kind of even the reverse or negative side. You could use that side or then there's that side too. So you can see it a little bit better before I put it on the card, right? But it just added a really nice touch. I love this. Like I said, it was a card that I cased from Dina Rico. And it's just so kind of soft and pretty and subtle. And so now I want to make Mother's Day cards with it too. As soon as I get my strong and beautiful stamp set, I might just be doing that. Okay. Let's see. What else do we need? Okay, so we cut everything, right? Yep. Okay. So now we're going to do our stamping. We have some black memento ink that we are going to start with our vase. So, oops, and dimensional backings, you know, they get everywhere, right? Um, you know what? I do want to grab my little stamping, the stamp and pierce mat, right? My good little work surface there. So I'm inking that up well. I'm going to stamp that right about there, okay? Isn't that fun? I love even just the, <laughs> just the detail on that vase is so cute. Okay, and then the flowers. I'm going to stamp those right there okay so that's all we need for our black memento ink then we need our calypso coral ink we're gonna stamp our flowers kind of fill in i love how simple this is right to just kind of add and it doesn't have to be perfect either and this happened the other day too we'll see if i can get lucky enough i thought i actually re-inked this oh my gosh so, yeah, there we go. Maybe you just need to ink it twice. I actually really like how that looks. So it just kind of leaves a little bit of white space in between um, as if you watercolored it for real, right? And then we're going to use a balmy blue ink pad for the base of, for the vase. The base of our flowers, the vase. <laughs> okay, we're going to get that guy maybe right about there, okay? And again, it just kind of gives it's a little watercolor washy look. It's not all totally consistent. Now for the fun part, okay? Let's see if I can get this to work. I did have, um, it was a little bit futzy for me. Um, there we go. So if you can see, let me show you what I'm talking about. On here, Dina had these little flecks of like blue ink. You can see them a little bit better. On here right so here I was like with my the fat tip of my um, blend marker and you used to just kind of be able to hit your finger on there and, and ink would splatter and that was not working at all for me so then I decided I would try my Night of Navy ink pad and then I oops nope I don't want to open that up all the way uh, I think hopefully there's enough ink there so then I grabbed this is my aqua painter and I just kind of drew up a bunch of this. And then again, you just kind of hit your finger. And you do need a pretty good amount of ink. And that's what I kind of struggled with. There, there we go. Can you guys see how that's kind of splattering just a little bit? So I think that's good. Um, yeah, yep, I think that's good. I had already splattered a little bit. This card base, I think, was out on the table. So I'm like, okay, that's good enough. But same idea where you just take this and kind of flick your finger on there and get some more um, splatter on there. I love that splatter look. We used to have something called, well, I called it a huffer. I don't even remember if that's what it was called, but I loved that thing. You would just hook a marker up to it and squeeze this bulb thing, and it would kind of spit ink on your project. I wish we would bring those back, honestly, because that I love that look. Um, okay, so as I'm like babbling, I'm trying to find my snail, but it's right here. Okay, so here we go. We're going to kind of put some 
a bunch, not some, but a bunch of adhesive on that piece. Because it is, it does kind of want to come up a little bit. So you want to be, make sure, and I like to, like I said, even kind of, sorry, I know I feel like that's wiggling. Maybe it's not too bad. Sometimes it, I think it looks better or worse to me than it really is. Okay, then I just added some more adhesive to the back of our oval. So we're just going to pop that guy, maybe right about there. I don't know. They're, everyone is a little bit different, right? Hi, Mary. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Then with our little strip here of the vanilla cardstock, we're going to grab our Night of Navy ink again. And we're going to just stamp our You've Been On My Mind. Okay, so nice, easy tap, tap, tap as always. And... All right, that looks good. I brought an extra strip just in case. <laughs> you never know how those are going to go, right? And I am going to, so I think with something really little like this, I like to just kind of flag the end. I just kind of eyeball about where the middle of the strip is, and then I go out on one corner, and then I like to flip it over because it's easier for me to kind of look at it from the same angle. And do you see? how simple that is to kind of flag the end of that piece. We are gonna grab a couple of the mini dimensionals on the back, because this is only a little half inch strip, and I really don't like for those dimensional backings to show. So we're gonna pop these guys off and put them on our card. Oh, you know what I forgot? Actually here, okay, so I'm gonna peel this thing off so these are all peeled off, but I forgot to add a little bit more detail. I knew something we got a cup, we got to color a little bit. Okay, so hopefully nothing sticks to that. We are gonna grab, this is my Old Olive Light Blends marker, and I need to color the leaves in a little bit. So we're just gonna um, just add a little bit of green to those, right? And then the other fun detail is to add a little bit of, this is the Night of Navy, the light marker. And again, I'm gonna use my skinny tip and I'm just going to color in that little bit right there. And I think, you know, you don't even have to do that perfectly either because everything else is a little bit watercolored and maybe inside outside the line. So it's okay if your hand wiggles a little bit and it's not perfect there. I don't think that's a big deal. Then we're going to put our stamp or our sentiment, the You've been on my mind on there. And then last little bit of detail, we are gonna add some of our, this is the Night of Navy. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I feel like there's almost a little texture to it. Can you guys, yeah, you can kind of see like it's nubby almost. I really like that. This is the only one that we have that's a medium baker's twine that kind of has a little texture to it. Um, but I like it. Maybe they'll come out with other colors for us too. So I'm just tying a little bow there. I'm going to grab my scissors and let's see, I do have my glue dots right here. Okay. So we're going to grab a glue dot wherever the end of the strip is, right? Pop that right on there and then put our bow on there. And that is it. So isn't that cute? I could have maybe done a little bit better job of getting that flower down but that's all right, you know. Actually, if I had something, I could probably, if I had my black marker, I'll go in and put a couple little stems right in there. And then it'll it'll make it look perfect, right? So, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I gotta get my stuff out here so I can show you. So, um, one sec, bear with me. I had to use the... Um, lace embossing folder. The other one is on order. So here I am over here like trying to fake you guys out. So <laughs> I'll give you the brand new one, but I'm going to put this one back in the package so I can show you all those great choices. All right. Seriously, too much stuff on the desk. Okay. So I just want to do the quick reminder because you're actually going to, you'll get these two cards that I demonstrated and then eight more cards with your online order for the spring break special. So you're going to get a ton of free handmade cards. Make sure to use that host code, the BM9KZG2E. You always get the free embellishment with your $50 order. I'm going to give you that too. You're going to get your free celebration choice. 
And then you are gonna get your chance to win and you will pick, right? So we've got too much stuff in my hands here. <laughs> I've got the other stamp sets we were using. Okay, so you could get the Lasting Lily stamp set and the Lily Framelits. You could get the Dear Doily stamp set and the Doily Builder Thinlets, or you could pick the Lace and the um, Country Floral Embossing Folders. So three great options here for you. Just put your order in. And like I said, I so appreciate your orders. Help me reach my celebration goal. I would love, love, love to do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to miss everybody. You guys are all so sweet. Safe travels. Thank you so much, Philomena and Marianne and everybody else. I, yeah, I am ready for a break, Marianne. I tell you what, I, I'm actually going to get in the car and sleep as soon as, as soon as we're ready to go, I think. So I'll be good. I'll be fresh and renewed and ready to go back um, the beginning of April. So you guys have a good rest of March. Have a great um, week and I will see you guys soon. All right. Bye everybody. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.